Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you guys and typically when I do hauls I only have stickers but this time I actually have two planners to show you guys. One is my new Erin Condren and then the other is my, I think it's called the Essential Planner um, and it's the one that I'm using for work this year because I do like to keep those things separate. Um, so I think I want to show you guys the planners first and then we'll move on to the stickers. I think I want to start with the Erin Condren first, just because this is um, a more popular planner and it's the one that I've been using for the past, I think, four years now. Um, and I always purchase a planner in the middle of the year because I do prefer to plan based on school years versus the calendar year. Um, that's just kind of how my life works and how my brain works because I do work at a school. So I typically get new planners in July. Um, so this is the one that I chose for this year and I really loved this cover. I think it's so pretty with like the darker blue and these pink florals all over it and I just think it's so gorgeous so I decided to pick this and truth be told I wasn't super thrilled Ooh, let me move my scissors I wasn't super thrilled with the format of this year's planner and I actually considered switching to something else but um, after kind of looking around there just wasn't anything that caught my eye or that I liked better um, the closest thing was a recollections planner from Michaels but the same thing happened last year where I noticed that the paper color is not the same as the whiteout color so anytime I white out which you guys probably know is a lot um, you can totally see it and that's just kind of a deal breaker for me so um, I ended up going for the Erin Condren again um, so I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of videos of what it looks like so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through it um, just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the highlights and then we'll move on so um, oh the other thing I want to mention is that I did have to purchase the 18 month planner because um, I ordered it too late I ordered it when it was already August and so they were not offering the July to June planner anymore you could only get like August to July. So basically I would not have um, any weeks in July and I didn't want that because my previous planner ended in June. So in order to be able to plan the month of July, I did have to pay a little extra to get the July through December 2020 planner. Um, but because it's so bulky and I don't really need the extra six months, when the planner came, I went ahead and cut out all of the pages in the um, second half or like the last six months of the year. And so as we get closer, it is like uh, for next July through next December, as we get closer to that time, um, I'm more than happy to do like a giveaway so that somebody can um, put these pages to good use if you would like it. Um, the only thing is that they're not binded. I just literally cut them out. Um, they're all in order. They're all here. It's just, you know, not in a... Um, folder or in a coil so I don't know if anyone would want that but I figured if somebody could do something with it that would be great um so anyways really quickly I want to show you guys the planner here we've got the first page of the month and then I love I actually really love this like monthly part right here I think I want to try to start scrapbooking again um I recently purchased a an HP sprocket which is a photo printer so that I could print some photos um, I don't love the photo quality and I did do a lot of research before I purchased this and it just seemed like the best option but the photo quality is still not super good but for a handheld printer that doesn't require any ink um, I think it's pretty okay for what it is so I think I'm going to print some pictures to scrapbook on this side and I actually would like to use this side more functionally by um, you know filling in the birthdays the goals and then coming up with something to do with these two boxes down here next we move on to the monthly page and this is something that I typically have not really used in the past um, I'm trying to decide if this is something I want to start but I just don't know if I can commit to it for the whole year so I'm kind of still up in the air about that um, and then we move on to the weekly so for the weekly it definitely looks quite different from the previous setup especially with the rounded boxes um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem but I don't really like this bottom washi part I think there's gonna be a lot of whiting out every single week in order to still be able to use a bottom washi and then um, personally I like a little space in between like the washi and where the rest of the spread is and so I think I'm gonna have to white out like this little line in the center um, this big thing I don't mind it except for the fact that I don't always use kits um, of the same color scheme every single month so I'm sure I'll have kits that like don't match this color so then I think what I'll do for those times is to just cover up this part with like a full box um, and then for the months where it does match I will probably just leave it so we'll have to kind of play around as you can see I haven't done anything in this planner quite yet um, so yeah those are kind of the main highlights that I had noticed oh and it does come with 
I always forget this, but it does come with a set of stickers in the back and they're usually foiled. This year it's silver foiled um, and I think that changes every year. Oh, and rose gold on this page, I, knew, I didn't even notice. Um, and, oh my goodness, I did not notice that it comes with all of these habit trackers. So if I ever don't have one, I can totally pull that in. And these are also so cute. I seriously have never pulled in these stickers in the back, even though they're adorable. I probably should um, put it somewhere more visible so that I would pull it in uh, more frequently. So anyways, I know that took a little bit longer than I had wanted to, since I'm sure you guys have all seen this planner already. Um, so let's move on to the next planner. Like I mentioned earlier, this next planner is my work planner that I'm going to use for this upcoming school year, and it's called the Academic Essential Daily Planner, and I actually just got this on Amazon. Uh, my friend Rachel from Gathered Plans was the one to help me find it because I was like telling her how frustrated I was finding a new work planner. I'm a little bit picky when it comes to the work planner because um, I need it to be really functional or else I'm not going to want to use it, and then I will be completely disorganized at work, so um, I definitely am a little bit more particular. Um, one of the biggest things that I need is it has to be a vertical format because that's just how I organize my day with all my meetings and everything. Um, and 90% of the planners that I saw at Michael's or um, Home Goods and Target, etc., they were um, mostly horizontal. So I was just really struggling to find something. And then Rachel actually suggested this one from Amazon. So I picked this up and it's actually a really basic minimalistic planner. And I think that's why I like it for what I need. Um, the front cover actually was just completely plain. It just has this dot grid background and then this little banner here and that was it. So I decided to do a little lettering and decorating with these stickers. This is from um, I think Lovely Rose Prince which is now Ciela stickers. It was a deco from like an old monthly kit that I had used so I just thought it was really pretty and I pulled it in just to customize this cover page and you know kind of make it my own. Um, yeah so I just lettered the quote she believed she could so she did and that's going to be my mantra for the year. I'm going to really believe in myself and have a great year. Um, so the planner is very simple. Like I said, it comes with a yearly view here in the front and it starts in June, but I didn't need any of the June pages or July really. So I think I went ahead and cut out all of those pages um, because I don't need that extra bulk. Um, the lighter the planner is, the better for me. And so it just starts in August. I'm not going to show you the August monthly because I do have some stuff written on there. Um, this is a good one. Okay, so this is what the monthly looks like. It's very basic, but the one thing that really bothers me um, so far is that the Wednesday is on the right-hand side of the column, and because I've been using the Erin Condren and also my previous work planner, uh, Wednesday was like to the left of the ring and then Thursday is like the first column to the right. So, so many times I kept making mistakes when I was putting things in because I kept thinking that this column was Thursday. So I really just have to switch my mindset because I'm just not used to that quite yet. Um, so yeah, this is what the monthly looks like. It's very basic. And then here we have a weekly view um, and what I like about this planner and why I chose it is because um, I love having the weekend like combined because really it's just a work planner so I only need it from Monday through Friday um, so by combining the weekend and kind of making its own column it gives me more space for the actual work week and that's what I really like and it also separates the um, each day into two sections so down here I don't know if you can see because it's printed really lightly so down here it has like times from 7 a.m to 10 p.m. so that you can jot down um, a schedule and then at the top what I intend to use this section for is just a running to-do list for the day so this is like exactly what I need I need a section for my to-dos and then a section for any appointments meetings and things that have like a time um, constraint so anyways that's um, what I loved about this planner and I think it's gonna work really well for what I need this year and let me see if there's anything in the back worth noting I think the back just has some line pages, so I can totally use this to take notes if I'm at a staff meeting or um, anything like that, but I haven't really thought about using these pages yet. And yeah, that is it for the Essential Daily Planner. It's a very simple, basic, um, very functional, and also really affordable planner. So if that's something you're looking for, I would definitely highly recommend it, and I will leave the link down below. Okay, so there's actually one other thing I wanted to mention about this planner that I forgot um, is that it doesn't have monthly tabs and that's something that's really important to me because I'm constantly scheduling things for other months um, in the future and so I need to be able to flip it uh, back and forth um, based on the monthly spread really quickly so I can see what's going on. So what I did 
for that, let me get back to a monthly spread, is that I purchased some monthly tabs from a shop called Tagami Fox. And um, since I was already picking something up, I decided to pick up a couple other things as well from her shop. And my order came with a few freebies. So the first one is this little die cut. I think it's actually a sticker because it has a little tab on the side and it allows you to peel it really easily. I love that, it's super functional. And then it also came with this little sheet of hot pink foiled stickers. And for my actual order, like I said, these are the monthly tabs. I love the gold star foiling, uh, but the only downside is that the months are kind of hard to read. So I think I might try to see if I can write over it in pen just to make it a little bit easier for me. Because again, this planner is all about functionality and not as much about um, aesthetics uh, because I really need it to just um, you know help me be organized at work. And then some of the other things I picked up from her shop are these um, star, I think this is holographic, foil. I don't know. I can't remember what I got, um, but it's really pretty. And these are just like little headers that you can stick on top of headers so that they have a little bit of foiling. And then I also picked it up in gold foil as well. I also picked up these date dots in silver and gold foil because those are things that I am constantly running out of. Um, I can never have enough to like make a full set of the week um, because I think I just pull them randomly and then I'm left with like, you know, a couple numbers here and there, but just not enough to make a full set. So I decided to pick up one sheet in each silver and gold. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually put these tabs on really quick because I wanna see if it's gonna work out and I'll be right back to show you guys how it turns out. Okay, so here are the tabs all completed. It did take me a lot more time and energy than I was anticipating. I was initially just gonna stick them all down, um, but then I realized that I really have to make sure they're all spaced out well, and also, you know, like on a relatively straight line. So um, I think they turned out pretty good. The only one I had messed up on was June. I don't know if you can see it, but I, um, had messed up putting it on and then I lifted it up forgetting that foil can totally crack so of course that's what happened um, but it's very very minor and you can't really tell unless you're looking really closely so I'm not going to worry too much about that and the way that I did the tabs is that when you um, push it like this then it is the monthly view so for example May I just go ahead and bring it over and then here I have May so this is how I like my tabs to be and yeah I think it turned out looking pretty good um, for especially a first time kind of putting them on. And yeah, I highly recommend this shop if you're looking for any tabs like this for um, another planner or like a Hobonichi journal or something like that. Tagami Fox is the shop name and she has um, basically these in all foil colors that you can choose. So yeah, that is it for my planner haul. Um, now I would like to move on to my actual sticker haul. And for sizing reference, I always like to have um, a planner in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Erin Condren since that is a pretty universal or pretty familiar size that everyone kind of knows. Um, so the first shop that I've got here is Love Shira. And you guys, I am so sad, but her shop has officially closed. I totally understand because she said she's just really busy and doesn't really have time to manage the shop, which is really fair, but I will definitely miss her shop and her stickers. So I did purchase um, during her last sale when she was closing or before she closed. And um, the first thing I picked up is this washi. I think it's so pretty. It says, you are are my moon and stars and of course it's written in her beautiful hand lettering I love her writing so much and then I picked up a few sheets of stickers um, this one is a new one it says cheers to beers so of course I had to get it and then I have a grocery run sheet and it comes with a few different um, color grocery uh, we have these record stickers I do already have these so this is a restock I decided to pick up these strength training stickers because sometimes I do like to work on strength um, rather than cardio which are the only stickers I have and then um, I restocked a sheet of the Target Run stickers, the YouTube binge stickers, and the film upload and edit stickers. So those were all ones that I love using in my spreads. And I'm starting to run out a little bit, so I figured I would restock before she closed down. And yeah, that is everything from Love Shira. I just wanted to quickly show you guys. Um, and unfortunately, they're not available anymore, so super sad about that. But I wish Shira the best of luck in her next um, adventures and endeavors and all that. So um, yeah, that was everything I got from her closing sale. The next stickers that I've got here are from Lexi Kylie Designs, and I really love this shop. I think she has some really gorgeous kits, but she doesn't have sales very frequently, so when she had a sale back in June, I definitely wanted to purchase something because I'd been eyeing this kit from her shop. Um, so the first thing that came with my order is this journaling card. Ooh, I love the way that this feels. It's not like regular paper. I don't know how to explain it. It's got like a little, maybe a vinyl sheen to it or something, but um, it says, don't kill my vibe, and it's got this really pretty floral pineapple. 
And then I picked up a few icon sheets. So the first one is this pool themed sheet and it has a lot of like different stickers related to the pool. So we've got pool day, pool time, um, another pool day one with this little flamingo floaty and then a pool party one, which is really cute. So because it was the summer, I figured this would be so perfect to pull in. And I also got a barbecue slash grill in and chill in sheet, um, which is also really perfect for summer. So this is a kit that I was totally in love with. It's called Sunset, and I just think the colors are so vibrant and so beautiful for summer. Um, the kit did come with this set of glitter headers, so we've got some here, and there's four different colors. And it also came with this limited freebie, um, which has an additional full box, a quarter box, and then some icons that match the color of this kit. So here we have the nine full boxes and some quarter boxes at the bottom. We have the sheet of icons and the weekend banner, which is so pretty. It's got like a little bouquet here on the side. We have a get it done three heart checklist. We have some habit trackers, some heart checklists, some flags, and then all these different headers at the bottom. On this page, we have, oh, it goes this way. We have the bottom washi, which is two different strips. And then we have a Monday through Sunday box with some um, extra washi strips and then these text stickers. And I really like that font that she chose. Here we have the full box checklist and another Monday through Sunday box, which is perfect because I do like to track happy moments and dinner so I can use them both. And then on this page, we have two sets of date covers. We have lots of deco pieces, some headers and little things. So I think this um, full kit would be great to use over two different weeks or like one week in a full planner and one week in like a smaller planner. And the last sheet here has a ton of boxes. So we have the half boxes, um, some quarter boxes, and then all these different like pattern headers um, in the center and on the bottom. So I did pick up this in the full kit format just because it was on sale. So it was a really good deal and I'll definitely have a ton of stickers left over. But um, as always, I just add it to my leftover stash so that somebody else um, can enjoy some stickers as well. And yeah, that is everything I picked up from Lexi Kylie Designs. I really like this shop and I would highly recommend you guys checking her out for her really gorgeous kits. Up next, I have some stickers and a kit from Samantha May Sticks, and it's been a while since I ordered from her shop, so I was really excited to make this purchase, and she has so much foiled goodies now. So the first thing that came with my order is this little um, freebie, and it looks like I purchased during a group sale, the Planner Friends sale, so that she included this extra little freebie. It has like this really pretty light pink um, foiling, and it's got some bow headers and some boxes. And then onto my actual order, I picked up four sheets of, um, or no, five sheets of gold foiled items. So we have these little meal icons because I actually don't have any foiled meal related icons. And then I picked up a sheet of these workout stickers in gold foil as well. Um, I really like these little dividers. I don't use them very often, but I'm hoping that um, I will because these are so pretty. And then I got a sheet of these little pencil stickers also in gold foil. And then I thought these little boxes would be perfect to create like a little foil foil checklist. Um, and this one I think is on clear paper. So it's a little bit different. I think these are on white matte paper and then this is clear. So it feels a little different. And the kit that I picked up from her shop is also in gold foil. And I think it's so pretty. It's got all these little dots scattered everywhere. And there is a foiled quote here in the center. It is a little hard to read, but I think it says, all the flowers of all the tomorrows are in the seeds of today. I actually haven't heard of that one before. And I really like that. Um, on here we have the bottom washi and it's um, also foiled. From what I can see, the foiling might be just a little bit off on the bottom washi. I don't know if you can tell. Like right here, there's a little bit of this color peeking through. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but you can't really tell. It looks really, really nice either way. And then here we've got some foiled icons, flags, boxes, and then these headers. On this page, this one is not foiled. It has all the um, headers, the little things, the sidebar tracker, a heart checklist, some check flags, a build do sticker, some more uh, quarter boxes at the bottom, and then a set of these date covers. And that font is amazing. I love that lettering font. And then on the last page here, which is also not foiled, it has the weekend banner, another full box checklist, and then these three um, half box checklists. We've got some flags and arrows, and then some half boxes, quarter boxes, appointment labels, planning midweek and day off arrows here at the bottom so this is actually this might be the first time I'm using one of her kits so I'm not really familiar with her format but I'm really excited to try it out so yeah that's everything that I picked up from Samantha May sticks and I would say that her stickers are affordable and the quality of the foiling is pretty good for especially considering the price
The next shop is definitely one of my favorites. It's Sadie Stickers, and I picked up this really gorgeous kit called Refresh um, sometime at the beginning of summer, and it's foiled. Um, so with my kit came with this little freebie, and it says, washi and stickers and planners. Oh my, so cute. It's got, like, I think it's a hollow foil, so it's a little hard to see on camera. And then the kit came with these bow headers, and hers are some of my favorites. I just love the way that they look, and um, I don't know, her quality is just always so perfect, so... I really love that. And for this kit, I don't remember, I think I got the mini kit format because um, it comes with four pages. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It came with these nine full boxes. Um, I especially love this little suitcase one and I'm just gonna do a little wiggle so you guys can see the foiling. And then on this page, we have half boxes, um, some bow check flags, and a Monday through Sunday box. We've got appointment labels, quarter boxes down the side, some bill due stickers, and then two habit trackers in the corner. Here we have all the headers, which I think is gonna be really hard to read because the color is so light and I don't even know if it really picks up on camera. Um, and then we have a set of these like marble headers, which are really pretty. Some, um, two more half boxes, bow check flags, icons, and then these tech stickers. And at the very bottom, we have a weekend banner and two um, flags. So this is going to be a very, very pastel neutral kit. And the last page here is also gold foiled. And we've got the bottom washi, which is these two different strips. We have some long flags here, some more boxes down the side, and these ones have some foiling. And then we have the date covers, which are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love her font. It's so dainty and gorgeous. And yeah, so I'm really excited for this kit. I already have it planned out for a week at the end of July before I start work because it says relax, renew, refresh. And that's exactly what I did the week before I went back to work. So I think it's gonna be really perfect to use for that week. And I'm so excited to plan with it. The second to last shop that I have for this haul is another one of my favorites, Nikki Plus 3, and I also love her kits. She has a really gorgeous style and just like such a good eye for design. Um, the first thing I picked up, and I actually forgot I got these, but these are some gold foiled um, bow quarter boxes, and I don't really have any boxes that are in foil, so I thought they might be nice to pull in every now and then when I'm using a foiled kit. And then the kit that I got came with these little matching bow icons, so that's going to be really perfect for the week that I use this kit, which is called um, Desert Peach 2.0 because I think she had revamped it at some point and I'm so excited you guys because I'm actually using this kit for a collab that I'm going to be doing coming up um, probably in the next month or so so definitely be on the lookout for that and the eight full boxes all have foiling so it's super pretty and this box here in the middle says Simple Beauty. We've got four uh, I think quarter boxes or maybe third boxes here at the bottom and I love this like succulents theme um, because I live in Southern California we do have lots of succulents around because um, we're like always in a drought so I just think it's so pretty and so perfect for where I live and then um, the kit also comes with these foiled icons you got quite a variety of different icons and then here we have half boxes some I think these are washi strips we have more boxes and then some flags as well as tech stickers and oh my gosh look at this little deco piece it's so cute we have, ooh, this one is foiled. So we've got foiled headers, foiled check flags, date covers, and then, or I'm sorry, date dots actually. Here on this side, we've got some different size washi strips. We have a bill due sticker, appointment sticker, and then two habit trackers, two quarter boxes, and then a foiled weekend banner here at the bottom. And the last page of the kit is the bottom washi. And you guys, how gorgeous is this? It's so, so pretty. I'm obsessed. And this is totally part of the reason that I just had to get this kit. And it also comes with this other like polka dot washi that's like a little thinner. We've got this sidebar tracker that has like foiled dates on the side and then um, a set of date covers, which are also in foil and so pretty. And then we have four quarter boxes here at the bottom. I absolutely love, like I said, her designs and her kit formats. Um, they just work really well with my planning style. So that is the kit that I will be using for a collab coming up uh, probably next month. These last stickers were sent to me by the shop owner um, to try out, and that was so sweet of her. Her name is Olivier. I even uh, messaged her to make sure that I was gonna say her name right because I did not want to butcher it. And her Etsy shop is called Olivier Hall Studio, um, and she sells a lot of different icon stickers, and so I got quite a few to try out. Um, the first one here is a sushi sheet, so I'm gonna hold it a little closer so you can see all the details that's in here. It's like this little wooden board with like sushi pieces on top of it, which is so cute. And then we have this manicure sheet here 
Um, she sent along a sheet of these like Starbucks Frappuccino stickers. Oh my gosh, this reminds me that I have not had a Frappuccino in so long and I could totally go for one right now. And then of course, taco stickers. These are definitely gonna come in handy because tacos are like one of my favorite foods. Um, we have a sheet of these like Beauty Blender stickers. I actually don't use one like this, but I've always thought about it. So this kind of makes me wanna go and get a Beauty Blender. And then I think this is a waxing sheet. Um, also not something that I do, but if I ever were to get something waxed, I can totally pull that in. This next sheet is like uh, basically cash or money. So it'd be perfect for payday or even marking when you've maybe spent too much on a sale or um, just shopping and things like that. So definitely I use money icons pretty fluidly for um, you know marking a variety of different things. And then um, a sheet of these Target bag stickers, perfect for marking Target runs. And the last thing that came in this little surprise package are these little laptop stickers. And I do um, work on reports a lot as part of my job. So laptop stickers, always come in handy so yeah those are all of the um, icon stickers that she sent along and um, thank you so much for this surprise happy mail package it always makes my day to get little surprises in my p.o box so yeah thank you again and i hope you guys um, see some things that you like and would like to check out and that, my friends, is it for today's haul. I've kind of placed my stickers all over the place, so let me grab them really quick. And yeah, that is everything that I got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe saw some things that you would like to check out. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!